Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Today I'm going to change the front tires on my Husqvarna YTH22V46 tractor, lawn tractor, to some flat free marathon tires that I bought through Northern Tool. I've run over a couple of uh, small sharp stumps that I've cut in the past back in the woods and put a, a hole in one of my front tires with the kind of cutting that I do. I don't want to continue to deal with flat tires, so I bought some flat free marathon tires i'll show you those in a minute and then i'm going to put those on the tractor it's a real simple job so i just wanted to make a, a video for it to show you how to do it in case you're having the same problems some people have had issues with the factory tires on the husqvarna leaking and uh, dry riding real quickly i've not had that problem with mine um, other than me putting holes in the tires they've been all right so thanks for watching and uh, let's get started these are the tires that I bought. They're they're made by Marathon. Um, they're the same size as the uh, the tires that come on the tractor, 15 by six and a half sixes. These tires have the uh, the same bore as the axle on the Husqvarna tractor. It's a three quarter inch uh, axle, and um, <clears throat> these are these are flat free. Basically, what they are is they're solid tires. They've got a a rubber exterior and I'm not sure what the inside is but it's probably some kind of foam so they're not pneumatic tires and uh, the only thing we've got to do is we've got to pop off a, an e-clip that goes on the outside pull a couple of washers off swap the tires out put it all back together um, and then grease it you got a zerk fitting on these tires and you want to fill this compartment up with grease when you're done so all right first thing you got to do is uh, jack your tractor up and get it blocked up in the front I just lifted mine up and put uh, put three bricks up underneath the front end to hold it up that way you've got your uh, we've got your axles off the ground so you can get this tire off and get the new one on there's a dust cap it's just a rubber dust cap you pull that off that's all it is it's just a rubber cap and it just comes off and then you've got an e-clip the back side's got two slots in it, and then these ears clip down over the, the groove in the axle, and then the, the bottom here is open. So basically, you just get your screwdriver in there and pop it off like that. It'll pop right off. Don't lose it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's uh, just a, what they call an E-clip. Just a little spring clip that goes in the groove on the axle. Then there's um, there's two washers that come off. They go together, and then a wheel comes off. And you got a back cap, which is which is fixed onto the axle. You want to make sure your axle is in good shape. It's not grooved or worn off, anything like that. I'm going to wipe mine off. Put the new tire on, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll grease the wheel. Uh, all right, this is the uh, the info uh, card that comes off the tire. Marathon lawnmower flat free. These are 15 by 6.56 6 tires. <clears throat> Polyurethane foam filled. The, it's a three inch centered hub with three quarter bushings. That's what you want for this tractor. It takes a three inch hub with a three quarter bore. So that's that's what you want to have. That's the right tire. Like I said, I bought mine from, Mer from uh, Northern Tool. And um, they were about 42 bucks a piece. So they're not super cheap, but that was for the tire and the wheel. So you're gonna take the you're gonna take the new tire it comes with a protective rubber uh, cap you want to pull that off I'm gonna do the same thing on the front I'm gonna mount mine so that the zerk fittings are on the outside so it's easier for me to get to them when I'm gonna uh, grease it you take the tire and just slide it up on that axle take your two washers Put them on there probably easier if you got something to stick under the tire I'm just gonna put my foot there to hold it up so the axle doesn't go up and down take this e-clip stick it on there 
and uh, if you can't get it on by by hand, just take a just take a pair of pliers and catch it by the back of the clip and the bottom of the axle and just squeeze it on. Put the dust cap back on. I got a pump grease in there and it's ready to go. So then all you do is you take your grease gun um, and uh, fill this up with grease. And what you want to do is take your dust cap off. Or leave the dust cap off. <laughs> um, take your grease gun and uh, you want to you want to put enough grease in here to where it's pushing these washers out but not you know you don't want to have grease all over the place over greasing something doesn't do anything except attract dirt so you, you want to fill the cavity up with grease and you want it to put a little bit of pressure on these washers and that's about it um, the nice thing about these these uh, wheels and tires as they come with the the zerk fittings on a 45 degree angle so even if you've got like a smaller grease gun that's just got the uh, the rigid tube coming out the front without a flex hose on it you can still grease these wheels so you, you take your take your grease gun and pop it on there and pump that full of grease okay and then you'll you'll see your grease start to come out from the behind those washers and once you get that you're done there's no need to pump any more grease in it. Wipe off the Zerk fitting so it doesn't attract a bunch of dirt. You don't want it to be, uh, I mean, it's going to get dirty anyway, but there's no reason to just attract the dirt um, because there's a bunch of grease on it. And then take your, uh, now put your dust cap on. Being careful not to get a finger full of grease. Unless you like that. <laughs> there you go. And then uh, the dirty rag, wipe that off. Now, now I'm fully greased. That's going to run nice and, and true. It'll be just fine. So do the other side, and it's all done. All right, so that's it. Uh, Got these new marathon tires on the on the tractor. Um, got it back down off the blocks. As you can see, they're they're just fine. They don't change the height of your ride at all because the outside diameter on these tires matches the outside diameter of the, the stock tires that I just took off. So I don't have to adjust the deck or anything like that. And uh, once you get them greased up, they're ready to go. So now I can enjoy a flat free ride on my front tires. If you're having trouble with your stock tires going flat on you, or if you've done like I did and uh, poked a hole in one of them, well then, this is this is a pretty easy way to fix that problem once and for all. It's a little expensive. You end up with about $85 into the uh, tires, but I don't have to worry about them anymore. So, um, and I've not had any problems with the back tires at all. So I just uh, cut my front yard with these new tires on there. They ride just like the stock tires with proper inflation. It didn't change the ride really, um, steer fine. Uh, it didn't change my cutting height, anything like that. So I'm, I'm pleased with them. We'll see how they do, how they hold up in the long run and how well they wear. Uh, as long as they don't wear out too soon, they should be a great investment on my lawn tractor. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. I appreciate you checking out my channel. Um, give me a like if you would and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos on how to fix things or reviewing tools and uh, uh, shop items, things like that. And uh, hope to see you back soon. Thanks a lot.